Hi everyone! So many of you asked me to make a bed for the new Farrah Good Fairy doll from Ever After High that I decided that I had to listen to you and I did make one. So I'm going to show you what I did and do some shout outs at the end to everyone I can think of who asked me to make her a bed. Smooth foam block is what I started off with and I chose this piece of fabric as her quote unquote bed sheet because it reminded me of the color of her baby doll dress. First I hot glued some to either end of the smooth foam block, then I hot glued it around the entire smooth foam block and now I'm about to add this beautiful blue ribbon trim. For her blanket, I love this fabric. It feels very um, soft and silky and it reminded me of her hair because it's light blue and light purple or lavender. I also loved this light purple and silvery mesh fabric. I'm gonna try to kind of work that into her blanket. And I really also liked this crinkly silvery fabric that, I, um, that reminds me of the inside of her dress, that part that's open. Here's a silver sequin ribbon that I got. So the general idea of the blanket is to um, put two pieces of the silver mesh uh, on the light blue and purple fabric and then hot glue the crinkly silver on top. So this is a work in progress. I hot glued the crinkly silver piece on top as well as the silver sequin ribbon trim as well as a piece of the blue ribbon trim. I'm going to trim each of the edges of the purple mesh pieces with this wavy silver ribbon. And now we're almost done. I want to incorporate some rhinestone stars into this blanket because the silver star is Farah's emblem. It's all over her doll. I mean, it's in her hair and on her wand, in her shoes. So now I've incorporated the rhinestone stars into her blanket. Time to make her pillow. I took another piece of that darker blue fabric. I added silver wavy ribbon trim to four sides, added the wavy blue ribbon trim to one side to the bottom, and hot glued on a few more of the rhinestone stars, stuffed in some toilet paper, and hot glued the four sides. For her headboard, I chose this arch from the fairygardenstore.com, which is a supplier of fairy garden decor. And since Farah is a fairy, I thought it was very appropriate. And I also like this fairy garden staircase that they sold, and I have this in mind as her footboard. And then these are four metal star connectors from Blue Moon Beads. And I like that they're star shaped and that they have a blue stone in the center. So what I did was I hung the silver star off of the archway. Well, let me show you the footboard first. So here's the quote unquote footboard. It's a staircase up to her bed. I hot glued some uh, rhinestone stars to that. And the archway I'm using as her quote unquote headboard and I also hot glued rhinestone stars to that. So it's time to finish Farah's bed. Here is the blanket. Now let's put on the pillow for Farah. There we go. All done. Now let's put Farah on her bed. Come here, Farah. There you go. You deserve some rest after making everyone else's wishes come true today. Okay, so here are the shout outs. I apologize if I miss anyone, but fun with Steph, Dominic Avaloni or Avalone, Nguyen Min Han, Zelda Katz, and Amy Spiteri. I know all of you asked me to make a bed for Farah Good Fairy, so thank you for getting me to do it because my little girl loves, loves, loves how this bed turned out. She told me it's one of her favorites, so I'm super happy. I want to thank you all for watching my videos and for subscribing to my channel. As always, I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.